Oh, where is Romeo? Saw you him today. Madam, an hour before the worshipped sun peered forth the golden window of the east, uh, a troubled mind drave me to walk abroad. Many a morning hath he there been seen, with tears augmenting the fresh morning dew, adding to clouds more clouds with his deep sighs. But all so soon as the all-cheering sun should in the farthest east begin to draw the shady curtain from Aurora's bed away from light steals home my dearest love and private in his chamber pens himself, shuts up his windows, locks fair daylight out, and makes himself an artificial night. Black and portentous must this humor prove unless good counsel may the cause remove. What sadness lengthens Romeo's hours? What, shall I groan and tell thee? Your looks are pale and wild and do import some misadventure. It is nothing, love, but that my mind misgives some consequence yet hanging in the stars. I dreamed a dream tonight. Be ruled by me, forget to think on it. Oh, teach me how I should forget to think. By giving liberty unto thy soul. Nay, gentle Romeo. We must have you dance. Not I, believe me. You have dancing shoes with nimble soles. I have a soul of lead. So stakes me to the ground, I cannot move. I am past my dancing days. You are a lover. Borrow Cupid's wings and soar with them above a common bound. I am too sore inflicted with these thoughts, these dreams and visions of unnatural death to soar with his light feathers, and to bound. I cannot bound a pitch above dull woe. Under death's heavy burden do I sink. And to sink in it, should you burden love. To great oppression for a tender thing. Is love a tender thing? It is too rough, too rude, too boisterous, and it pricks like thorn. Love be rough with you, be rough with love. Prick love for pricking, and you beat love down. 